So with this mud motor, I need to have a tie, tie down over here to hold the handle down whenever I'm not using it. So I went ahead and got this little buckle thing that I'll put down at the floor. So I'm going to go see where I need to put this rope and where I need to put this on the floor, mark it, and then we'll come back and we'll start drilling the holes for this. All right, just to orientate you, this is the rear of the boat, this is the back seat, and this is where the string will come up to the handle. So when I'm not using it or when I'm idling, I can loop it and it'll go down to right here. What we're going to use for that is something like this. So these are just, I don't know what you want to, what kind of head those are exactly, but that way they'll fit flush. Rope, you can tie under there and then the wood will be in between here. This is the line where I could put the rope and right here where this X is, that's where the rope was coming straight down. So that's where I'm going to go ahead and put it, just like that. That's what it's going to look like. Now, I'm going to go ahead and paint this first. And then we'll go ahead and install this. So that's what it'll look like, but we'll go ahead. We won't install it right now. The only problem would be the foam under it. And uh, I'm sure we'll be able to poke those uh, threads and everything right through and not have a problem with that. So we'll go ahead, get this painted, and then we'll clean the boat, vacuum it, get all the styrofoam clean, get this cleaned, and assemble everything for the final go around. Almost forgot the gloves. This is the same paint we used on the front deck of the boat.
so I wouldn't say we ran into problems, but with this little cleat where I'm going to be using the rope to hold the handle, it pulls up on this whole section pretty good because there's no support in the middle. So we're going to go ahead put another rib nut somewhere in the center, and then I'm going to go ahead and put a backer plate up under this, and then we're also going to be putting support here to stop this from bowing up. So we're going to be doing three types of support. We're going to put a backer plate under this, we're going to put another rib nut here, and then we're going to use this to make sure that that doesn't pop up either. So we're going to go ahead, get those done, and see how that does. So what we're going to do first is go ahead and remove all six screws. Alright, went ahead, got all six bolts out, and now we will go ahead get this up so we can get the backer plate in there and also put the extra rib nut in there. So we're going to go ahead, measure out the extra rib nut, drill that hole so when we take it out we can go ahead and drill the hole into the into the rib. We have to find center. Ahead. Just thread it on there. Make sure that it's all the way out there. Should have about that much sticking out. That is it. And now we gotta put the backer plates. All right, so one thing I'm keeping in mind is this is where the rib goes. So I gotta put it on the inside. I don't wanna move this. So we'll go ahead and just measure, not really measure, but we'll go ahead and get, I'll go ahead and find center on here, put it in between these two, push it up, and I'll just give it a good whack. So I get the two imprints and then we'll go ahead and drill those holes out. Went ahead and marked them right there. So just gonna line up my center mark to here, push it over just a little bit, but bring it back. Got my imprints right there. Go ahead and we'll just mark this face uh, deck side. Went ahead and marked the deck side. We're gonna drill the holes so that way we know that it went like that. All right, so since we have a piece of styrofoam that sits there and those screws go down into it, as you see the holes right there, I went ahead and outlined. You may be able to see it right there. I outlined where the plywood is going to be sitting. So I'm gonna go ahead, cut this piece out so that way the floor will sit flat with the plywood underneath of it. Gonna be using the styrofoam cutter that we used before. We're just gonna be eyeballing this. Doesn't really need to be too perfect. All right, so went ahead and got it cut. So that'll leave us room there. Put that off to the side, and now we'll go ahead and mount that piece of wood onto the deck. All right, so we'll go ahead and remove bolts. All right, so backer plate is in, rave nut is in. We got the backer plate in here. We're gonna go ahead and put our rib nut uh, or our bolt through here, get all our bolts back on. And then once we get this down all the way, I can push down on this and get this backer plate 
right here to stop any of this from bowing up. Alright, let's see if this one lined up right. Perfectly lined up. That's awesome. Now remember, I wouldn't tighten these down too much because this is just, you're not putting too much upward pressure on it. You're just wanting to hold these. These are just meant to hold the deck in place and stop it from scooting and sliding around. So tighten them down, but don't cork them down. All right, so we have a string here. Let's see if you guys can get in closer on that. So the whole purpose of this was I'm gonna have a string here to hold the long tail mud motor. So when I go to pull up on it, that's actually really good. Think I'm gonna need anything else. I don't think I'll need this backer plate. So what I'll go do is I'll just take this out for now and then um, just test it like it is now. Go out on the water or just put it in the yard. Swing this tail around and put the handle on it and see if it'll hold the weight of the tail. But that feels pretty secure already so I don't think I'll have to. But that's what we did. So all we did was just put that backer plate in here and then added this rib nut to stop it from bowing up. And it's not really bowing at all here, so I'll go ahead and leave that out. And we're just gonna test it like this and see if that, if that fixes it. Mm -hmm. 